I want to welcome you to another interesting and informative session of today's video. I really appreciate all my subscribers thank you for motivating me to do more informative videos and if you are just seeing this channel for the first time welcome to the family kindly click the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified whenever we upload informative videos so in today's video i will show you five provinces you can easily get your permanent residency in canada the first one on my list here is nova scotia Despite being the second smallest province in the nation, Nova Scotia has the second highest population density. It is a member of Atlantic Canada and one of the three maritime provinces. The provincial capital of Halifax, as well as Sydney, Wolfville, and Peggy's Cove, are the major cities you can find in the oldest province Canada. The stronghold of Louisbourg, a national historic site and home of a partial restoration of an 18th-century French fortress, as well as seafood like fresh lobster feasts, are among Nova Scotia's most well-known attractions. There are several financial institutions, companies, and agencies in the province of Nova Scotia. Candidates with the necessary qualifications in financial studies might find excellent work prospects in these stable financial companies. Working here almost assures immigrants and their families of a secure future. People who work or study in the finance industry are often advised to apply for Canadian citizenship through Nova Scotia. The province is a dream location for many potential newcomers due to its proximity to the seaside, affordable cost of living, and laid-back lifestyle. So, let's talk about Nova Scotia's PNP. The Express Entry Pool is also used to choose candidates directly under Nova Scotia's labor market priorities. This stream is regarded as one of the simpler PNPs for international candidates to receive PR since it frequently attracts profiles without a link to the province. Prior to its admission rounds, Nova Scotia does not disclose the industries or selection criteria it would be using although it frequently invites applicants without any ties to the province. Candidates must express interest in Nova Scotia and have a current express entry profile. The second one is Ontario. One of the easiest provinces to get PR in Canada is Ontario. Immigrants looking for work from around the world frequently choose to settle in Ontario because of its robust economy. Ontario, which is home to the well-known city of Toronto, features several corporate buildings and a vibrant way of life. Ontario gives priority to talented people who match the roles that are open for employment in the province. About Ontario's PNP The Canadian province of Ontario has consistently demonstrated an interest in individuals who are technically qualified. The recommended candidates are those who work in developing industries like data science, artificial intelligence, and machine learning. Their priorities for human capital are compatible with the Government Express Entry Program. Ontario wants to bring in even more immigrants, despite having one of the highest immigrant quotas among all the provinces. To aid the province's labor deficit, Ontario's Labor Minister Monty McNaughton has proposed to quadruple the number of immigrants permitted under the Ontario Immigrant Nominee Program OINP, from 9,000 to 18,000 people. The Ontario Human Capital Priority Stream is a wonderful choice for people who reside outside of Canada. This stream gives priority to qualified candidates who can fill skilled job vacancies in the province. A total of 3,513 applicants were nominated by Ontario in 2021 for their Human Capital Priority Stream. About half of these nominees received invitations through OINP's targeted tech draw. Since Ontario has large immigration quotas and frequently organizes draws, it is one of the simplest provinces in Canada for qualified applicants to get Canadian permanent residency. The third province is Prince Edward Island. Prince Edward Island, PEI, is another one of the three maritime provinces and is made up of a number of islands, 232, including the main island, the biggest of which has the same name. By both population and land area, it is Canada's smallest province. Prince Edward Island is most known for the novel End of Green Gables, which is set there, and the delectable mussels found in the nearby seas. Its largest city is Charlottetown, the provincial capital. About Prince Edward Island's PNP 
Candidates in the Federal Express Entry Pool must submit a Canadian Expression of Interest to get an interest letter from PEI. After receiving a letter of interest, candidates can submit an application for provincial nomination. Notably, candidates do not need to have a job offer from a PEI employer to submit a Canadian Expression of Interest. Rather, candidates who satisfy the province's existing labor needs in terms of skills and knowledge will be taken into consideration for the Express Entry PMP. The fourth province is Saskatchewan. Nestled between Alberta and Manitoba, the province of Saskatchewan is the center of the prairies. The majority of people in Saskatchewan reside in the southern half of the province, particularly in Saskatoon and Regina. Agriculture is the main economic sector of the province, followed by mining, oil, and natural gas extraction. Regina, the capital of the province, Saskatoon, and Prince Albert are the principal cities. The most popular outdoor activities in Saskatchewan include fishing, hunting, and other sports. One of the most beautiful campuses in Canada is the University of Saskatchewan's historic Saskatoon campus. About Saskatchewan's PNP Saskatchewan's strong economic development and employment prospects have made it a popular place for foreigners to settle. Saskatchewan Immigrant Nominee Program, SANP, has two important streams, the International Skilled Worker PNP and Express Entry Streams. They are intended to attract candidates with experience in the in-demand professions in the province. These international skilled worker streams use a Canadian Expression of Interest EOI, system to manually select applicants. Candidates who qualify for Express Entry can apply to the Saskatchewan Express Entry Stream to have their application for Canadian Permanent Residency Express Entry applications can be processed more quickly. However, people who are unable to submit an Express Entry profile can still apply through the Saskatchewan Occupations in Demand Stream. What to expect from Saskatchewan's Occupations in Demand and Express Entry Streams? Candidates must have at least one year of experience in a field that is not on the since excluded occupations list to submit an EOI. English or French language proficiency is required, as well as having completed at least one year of post-secondary study. Any applicant who satisfies Saskatchewan's minimum eligibility requirements, which include earning at least 60 points on their points assessment grid, is eligible to submit an EOI profile. Submitted profiles are taken into account in an EOI draw run by SNP. In SNP EOI drawings, only applicants with the most competitive SNP scores and in-demand professions are invited. The good news about this province is that while other provinces only take into consideration direct relatives living in the province, parents, siblings, and children, Saskatchewan counts cousins and other relatives as having family in the province, therefore proving ties to the region. The fifth province is Alberta. Alberta, which is in western Canada, is home to some of the most well-liked natural attractions in the nation. The province of Alberta is well known for its abundant natural gas and oil reserves, cattle ranching, Rocky Mountains, and Dinosaur Provincial Park. The fourth and fifth most popular cities in Canada among immigrants are Calgary and Edmonton, respectively. By population, Calgary is the biggest city in Alberta. Calgary is a great destination for outdoor enthusiasts since it is situated in the foothills of the breathtaking Rocky Mountains. The renowned Calgary Stampede and Exhibition, one of the biggest outdoor rodeos in the world, is also held in Calgary. About Alberta's PNP Province for potential immigrants, because of its strong employment market and excellent educational system. From the Federal Express Entry Pool, applicants are chosen by the Alberta Express Entry Stream to submit applications for provincial nomination. The fact that this stream accepts Express Entry candidates with CRS scores as low as 300 implies that more applicants will have an opportunity to hear from the province and get a notification of interest. This might improve a candidate's chances. One is if you have an eligible relative who resides in Alberta and is a citizen or permanent resident. Two is a job offer or employment history in Alberta. And if you have a degree or certificate earned from a post-secondary school in Canada. The Federal Express Entry Program serves as the foundation for Alberta's Express Entry Stream. 
A candidate's CRS score will rise by 600 points as a result of winning a provincial nomination, thereby ensuring that they will be offered a PR invitation to apply ITA in the upcoming Express Entry Lottery. Alberta is frequently regarded as one of the simplest jurisdictions in Canada to obtain PR due to its low CRS requirement. Additionally, there is no precise list of jobs or occupations in Alberta. For immigrants who have recently graduated from college or have little work experience, it works effectively. I wish you the best in your immigration journey. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share with your friends. See you next time.